Hey kids, welcome to lesson 17, building an app, Canvas Painter, the event parameter for mouse events. We'd like to change the app so that when a user clicks on the canvas, we draw a circle right where they clicked. To do that, we need to learn more about the parameter passed by our event handler function, which by default is called event. Recall that we wanted to know what key the user pressed on a key press event we check the value stored in event.key. The exact parameter actually stores a great deal more information about each event. When using the mouse, the event parameter carries information like the location of the mouse, how fast it's moving, and some other things as well. Let's get acquainted with the event parameter and what we can find out about the mouse. We have a do this, add the parameter event to the function of your event handler. Looks like they're going to their event handler. Ours is empty and they're adding the word event. Add a console.log command inside your function of your event handler. Use it to display the event parameter. Run your program and click on your canvas. The full contents of the event parameter should be displayed in the console. Which values do you think will hold the X and Y coordinates? What else is there in there? We won't use all of this information, but it's interesting to see just how much is available. Once you've experimented a little, move on to the next level. Looks like our output should look exactly like theirs. Well, this one is pretty easy today, kids. We just have to add event into our function here. This is now a parameter, and we want to call that parameter. How do we want to call it? We want to use a console.log statement, and inside it, we just want to call the event. Don't forget your semicolon. Now, when I hit run, nothing should happen on the screen until I click on it. When I do click on something, I should get data that looks like this. Let's see if that's what is happening. Run, nothing's happening here. Click on something and we get a ton of information. It looks like we get uh, everything about true, fall, the alt key is not being pressed, button zero, the control key is not being pressed. Looks like we have a X and Y coordinate here, 124, 122. Uh, if we go over here, we can kind of see, uh, it doesn't really look like the X and Y positions. Let's see if there's anything else here. We have client commands, page Y127, Y127, everything else. Looks like a lot of information. I wonder what we're going to use in here. Let's try again and see if other numbers come up. That is a bunch of information there. It looks all relatively the same, except for the X and Y offsets. So I'm gonna assume this X and Y offset is gonna be the information we're gonna eventually get in order to gather where to put a dot at when the user clicks. Pretty interesting if you ask me. I'm really looking forward to learning more about this. I bet you kids are too. Looking back up here to our do this, we did add a parameter to the event function. Then we added a console.log command inside our function of the event handler to display the event parameter. We ran this a couple of times and we took a guess where we're gonna get our X and Y coordinates from. And I think it's gonna be this X and Y offset number right here. I think in the future, we're also gonna learn a little more about the data contained in here. I think this is all code.org wants from us. I'm ready to move on. Let's see if they want anything else from us. Nope. Good job, kids. I will see you on the next lesson.